all right uh, a very good morning to all of you uh, i am really excited uh, as this is my first time uh, as a attendee and as an speaker at bad camp uh, so i'm really excited about it and a bit nervous so yeah let's begin with the session so today we'll be talking about filters and the uh, the topic is titled as filters 101 where we are basically going to cover filters api in drupal so yeah let's begin uh, first of all let me give you a brief in introduction about myself uh, i am kunal kursija i am based out of mumbai india and i am an drupal engineer mostly back end but i am equipped uh, to to work with drupal front end as well and i currently work at accelerant uh, if you want to catch up with me uh, these are my social profiles where you can reach out to me uh, twitter handle drupal and linkedin so yeah uh, let's start with the session of the day uh, before we begin uh, i would like to say that i only have one screen so it won't be possible for me to ch check the chat again. So it will make sense that we'll cover all the questions at the end of the session. So I'll follow that particular pattern. Uh, now let's start with the session. And the very first slide that, that you see is, uh, it's called the filter module. Now Drupal core, it provides a module called as filter. Uh, which is enabled out of the box when you install the standard installation profile of Drupal. Uh, this module basically allows administrators to manage the text formats. Now, when we say manage the text formats, it basically means that this module will allow the site administrators to create new text formats, uh, edit, edit them, disable them, and you know configure them uh, to any extent that is as per their requirement and it is really flexible to work with so yeah when we say text formats now we we mentioned that we talked about uh, that this module allows to manage uh, ma management of text formats now when we say text formats now it is a broader concept uh, and it is a whole package in itself so let's jump into the text formats in our next slide. Text formats. So what are text formats basically? Uh, text formats allow the content editors or the users to format their content uh, in nodes, in comments, or in any type of Drupal entities uh, and in the formatted text fields only. And later on, when, once the content is created, then text formats also help the help in basically the display aspect of the cons, uh, the content. So that is the job of the text formats. Where uh, if you see the very first screenshot to the left of the screen, uh, there is a no, uh, this is a formatted text field, and it is. Uh, it has some content in it which says bad camp is the best camp ever now it is a text uh, just below the text you can see we have this particular thing which says text format and it is a drop down now this drop down consists of various text formats that uh, your that are created on your site for example basic html then full html uh, plain text etc these are the names of the text formats that i just talked about uh, what they really are, what are they really composed of, and what's present in, inside them. Uh, those things we are going to cover in the next uh, next phase of this session. So yeah, now this is how the content editors basically format the content. This is how, yeah. Uh, in the next screenshot to the right of the slide, uh, it is basically how the content that you created gets displayed. Now we have this is a screenshot of the node page and yeah this is how the content gets displayed uh, in the definition that i have written if you see i have highlighted two important terms over here the one is 
content is format uh, content is created in the formatted text fields all right uh, let's remember the term formatted and the uh, another important thing is that the term that i have highlighted is hypothetically now text formats act hypothetically control how the content gets displayed but insight i mean the, the real story is uh something else con uh, controls this but something else is actually the part of text formats itself so we'll come back to it in the later aspect later part of the session uh, moving on uh, we saw in the previous slides that uh, content editors can create in the formatted text fields and uh, now when we say formatted text fields what we really mean uh, in drupal we have various entities uh, entity types like node is in one uh then we have comments then we have users and all these entities allows end users or the site administrators or yeah site administrators to basically add uh, various different types of fields in the entities for example let's say i have an entity and i want to add a date field to it uh i want to add a email field a boolean the text field etc so there are various types of fields that you can add to your entities uh but the text formats that are present in the drupal will not be available to you or will available to your users or your content editors uh, across all the field types these particular these all the text formats are available to users uh, only in the three highlighted field field types that i have uh, shown in the very first screenshot if you see text formatted text formatted long then text formatted long and summary only fields of these type will have the text format functionality available to them uh, for example uh, in the second screenshot uh, it is i have taken this screenshot from a node creation page uh, where there is a plain text field and uh, there is a formatted text fields if you see the difference between two the plain text field does not have any sort of text formatting feature available to it whereas the text area uh, or the formatted text field it has the text format feature available to it so that's what we meant when in the previous slide when we said uh, that text format functionality is available only for formatted text fields uh, let's move on uh, available text formats now when you install drupal with the standard installation profile uh, drupal out of the box creates four uh, text formats for you the one is uh, these are the four uh, the first one is basic html then we have restricted html followed by full and plain text uh, these text formats are available to the formatted text fields uh, the important thing to know over here here is this particular ui that you are able to see in the screenshot it is provided to the end users by the core filter module that we earlier saw in the very first slide of this session uh, so all this all this functionality uh, the text format management it is provided to you by the core uh, the core filter module and you can see we have various links like add text format then you have the options to configure disable etc all the basically the options to play around with your text formats uh, then we have ordering of the text formats as well now in certain cases uh, the there, there could be requirement like uh, on a content uh, you might have a text format field uh, the text formatted text field which will list certain text formats and let's say the business wants you to uh, show the text formats drop down options in a certain order so that particular ordering is also controlled from this particular ui uh, things might be getting a bit confusing with respect to the options that i just explained but it will start making sense when we get into the demo at the later stage so this was about the available text formats uh, moving on uh, anatomy of text formats now what the text formats are actually made of uh, this screenshot that i have taken it is from the ui where 
when you click on add text format uh, from the text formats management screen you land into this screen uh, you can mention your text format name then you can select the roles uh, which uh, roles uh, these roles will be basically associated with the users so users having these particular uh, the, your selected roles in this particular section will be able to uh, access to the text format so that's what the roles are important for then you have the option called as text editor now this particular option or the drop down list over here it is provided to you by the core editor module now which basically allows you to integrate the third party text editors like ck editor is the one then you have tiny mc etc to integrate with your text format so this is the option for that uh, coming to the most important uh, topic or the uh, section of the text formats it is called as filters the enabled filters basically uh, please give me a moment so yeah so these are the filters that are available in the text formats and i think it will be i'll be able to do more justice to this uh, in the later aspect so let's get into the filters right away so filters what are filters uh, filters are basically the hidden gems uh, that are present inside your text formats and they actually they really control how the field content on the sites get displayed now if you remember in the second slide when we mentioned i asked i told you that do remember that text format does not directly control how the uh, user submitted content is displayed on the site or the field content is displayed on the site so this was the reason i had mentioned hypothetically word in the that slide so the displaying aspect is actually controlled by filters filters basically process the user submitted input or the field content and they it applies various logic to your user submitted content and then as, after processing it it displays the content uh, filters have various options available to it like you can enable various filters in the text format then you know you can basically control the ordering of ex the execution order of your filters and the text format itself then filters have their own settings or the own configuration own configuration form uh, it provides various things to it uh, which we'll be seeing in the demo so uh, i think it's time for the demo now where i'll be showing you everything that we have covered so far right right from the text formats till the filters and we'll actually create a custom filter uh, that we and, and we'll go through it the whole functionality basically so let me come out of the presentation uh, i'll first of all show you the site that i have created now this is a drupal 9 instance uh, that i have created today uh, let me show you the basic architecture of it that will be important for the demo so i have created a content type today uh, it is called as how to and i have added certain fields to it so i'll click on manage fields so in the manage fields content type i have added three text formatted fields uh, namely about field description field and the tips field uh, after the content type i have also created a custom module today which will basically create a custom filter plugin for us uh, the module is called as filters 101 i'll right away enable this particular module let's install it all right so our module is installed now 
let's start with by going to the configuration page i'll click on configuration link from this top toolbar uh, now the configuration page has a important link uh, that we saw in the presentation it says text formats and editors let's click on it now this is the area or the ui where site administrators can uh, you know, basically manage the text formats uh, that are present on your site they can create their text formats or they can configure it to the extent uh, till they want to uh, let me now show you uh, some content that i have created for today there is only a single node uh, that we'll be concentrating on throughout our demo i have created a content of type how to cut a kiwi fruit oh sorry i have created a content of type how to and the node is titled as how to cut a kiwi fruit uh, it has uh, three fields to it the first one is about field uh, followed by the description field uh, the description field basically has an email address followed by the third field which has uh, tips uh, for this particular content and we have three email addresses in this particular field also now i i i, con I concentrated or i elaborated on the word email address so today we'll be talking uh, processing the email addresses that are present inside the formatted text fields throughout our demo uh, if you see the content right now uh, the email addresses are displayed as plain text if you see admin at the rate how to.com then you have fruits at the rate how to.com followed by this particular email address uh, after that in the above field also we have an another email address uh, all these email addresses are displayed as plain plain text uh, let's go to the configuration page again uh, and i'll click on text formats and editors let's open the full html let's click on the configure link now in this particular uh, text format uh, we have the filters available over here now these are the filters that we'll be talking about we'll, that we'll be going through today uh, i have created a custom filter it says convert all email addresses to the mail to links so i'll click on it i have enabled the uh, or i have selected the checkbox if you can see uh, at the bottom of your screen uh, we have two sections which says filter processing order and we have filter settings see uh, pay attention to what happens when i unselect this so i unselected this and those particular settings part specially went away and we also uh, got rid of another option that was present inside filter processing order uh, i'll click on this again so this is basically the execution order of your filters uh, yeah. now inside filter settings we have an option which says emphasize email address i have by default it is selected when we enable the filter so we'll basically save it right so we have enabled our custom filter uh, for full html now let's go to content page and let's see what happens uh, i'll click on the link we are on the node page now if you see this particular email address it is getting displayed as the plain text as it was getting displayed earlier so no change over here uh, followed by uh, the rest of the email addresses that we had earlier now if you see the plain text uh, got just got converted into an mail to link if you inspect this uh, let me right click over here i'll click on inspect and we have our email address now the text field the text the email text got converted into an anchor link uh, and it points to it will basically convert it, it converted it to a mail to link and 
it is also been emphasized by your custom filter so that is what our custom filter just did it converted those plain text to the made to links now now the question is why only all these under the email addresses pre present inside the tip section just got converted to the mail to links to understand that let's go to the edit page of the node uh, i'll first of all go to the tips section which is at the bottom of the page uh, if you see the text format uh, section over here it says full html so the tips section was formatted as full html uh, whereas the description field it was uh, formatted as basic html now we only enabled our filter for the full html so that is the reason your custom filter processed uh, the field that has that had the text format full html in it and it converted the text uh, the plain text to mail to links so that is what your custom filter just did if you uh, go to configuration uh, text format configuration again i'll open it in a new tab and i'll basically configure uh, the just a moment uh, before we do that i'll just go to the node view page and again i'll go back to the text formats let's edit the basic html text format now uh, in the in this particular uh, filter we'll follow the same steps we'll enable the filter and we'll save the configuration we are done with saving now let's go back to the node page pay attention to the description field over here i'll reload this so the page is getting reloaded and you can see it that your text on the plain text just got converted into a mail to link so yeah that's what uh, the text processing of your um, how the text processing is done in the filters uh, i think it was just a demo now let's just get into the actual code base uh where we'll basically see how we have created this particular filter so i have another editor over here uh inside this repository i have the web directory then we have modules and custom and filters 101 this is our module for the day that we have already enabled on our site it has a info file which basically define your module uh, followed by a readme file and after that uh, the main thing over here is we have a this particular directory structure and we are defining a filter over here a custom filter let's see how a custom filter is created uh, to create a custom filter uh, the very first thing that you have to do is you will have to follow a sp this particular namespace or uh, your class needs to be present in this particular namespace itself so drupal the global namespace followed by filters 101 which is our custom module followed by the keyword plugin which is present inside the src directory followed by the keyword filter now we have a filter directory as well and then your custom filter class will live inside this particular directory structure uh, we have created a class which says mail to and it is extending the filter base class now if you pay attention to the doc the doc structure for this particular class you will see that it is an annotated class uh, the annotation name is at the rate filter again this particular annotation is also provided by the core filter module so yeah uh, our filter has uh, the filter annotation basically has the id of mail to uh, then it has title as convert all email addresses to mail to links now this particular text was displayed on the text formats uh, edit page when you when we where we enabled the our, our custom filter uh, followed by type now there are four types of 
uh, types available. I and there are different. Uh, I'll basically just quickly show you what those types are. Let's open the filter base class, and I'll open the filter interface. All right. So, filter base class that we have extended in our mail to class. Uh, that particular class extends the filter interface and it provides all the four types so there are different uh, so these different types of uh, these different types have different purpose associated to it we have used the type markup language because we wanted to convert our plain text to html so that is the reason we got we use this if we let's say if we had to like restrict our html then we had to use like type HTML restrictor. Uh, and there are some two more uh, types available as well, which is type transform reversible and type transform irreversible. Uh, let's close this and let's understand what the class body consists of. Our class uh, has a method called as public uh, function settings form now this particular function basically provides that provided the text field uh, the, the checkbox that we had uh, available on the filters page uh, and it has a default value of this settings and emphasize mail to so when when you when we save our filter on that i mean or when we enable our filter the settings associated to with our filter Get saved, get saved in this particular object. So yeah, the default value comes from it. After that, we have a function called as process function. Now this is the most important and the only, mostly the only function that you will have to deal with while you are creating your custom filters. Uh, this function processes the actual user submitted content or the field content and it returns the result or re it returns the result and that particular result is displayed to the end users so if you see in this particular function i have called to the preg replace callback uh, now what this function is doing is it is searching for patterns in our text now this particular pattern basically finds all the email addresses that are present inside your text and once the email, once the pattern is matched, uh, this particular function gets called. The function is called as convert email addresses. And if you can see just below this function, the function is available over here, convert email addresses. Uh, and the third parameter uh, to our preg replace callback is the actual text, the actual user submitted text. Now, when the text uh, the email addresses are found in the text convert email addresses gets called and in our convert email addresses function we are basically converting the text uh, to the mail to links and uh, if we have this particular setting enabled uh, on the text format then we are adding uh, the em tag or we are basically emphasizing the text in our case uh, we have emphasized the email addresses. So that's what uh, these things are actually, this is how basically the text is processed and displayed. Uh, followed by, we have another function. It's called as tips. Now tips is basically the, you can say it's a help text that is available to your site ad, uh, editors just below the text formats. I'll quick, quickly show you this. Uh, let's go back to the browser. Uh, but before that, uh, see, uh, the tip is called as convert email addresses to mail to links. Uh, let's see how it is displayed to the end users. I'll click on edit of this particular node. Now uh, we enabled the uh, we enabled the custom filter for basic HTML as well as full HTML. Uh, if you can see the text format over here, it has the help text available to it. Now, all these help text or the, all these bullet points are provided uh, to this particular format by different filters that are available 
or that are enabled inside basic HTML. Uh, the the help the tip the help text that we have created it is called as this convert email addresses to mail links. So yeah, this is the help text. Uh, one thing I would like to tell you over here is if you see full HTML, it does not has any tips associated with it. The reason being it has the toolbar enabled or it has the CK editor enabled. So full HTML basically it does not display the help text. Uh, after that, uh, I think, yeah, uh, this is how the custom filter is created. Uh, now, I think that's it for, from the demo. Uh, so we basically saw uh, Drupal, how, how Drupal provides the filter module, which in turn provides your, you the text formats uh, where it, you can, your site administrators or editors can basically manage uh, those particular text formats followed by different filters that are available uh, inside the text formats. And then we actually saw the demo uh, or the, we saw how filter plugins are, uh, how filter project plugins basically work. Now, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I'll head over to the chat window. Yeah. So yeah, any questions, please let me know. Uh, yes, uh, the example. So the question is, is your example module available and will you make it available? So yeah, the example module is available and I'll share the presentation as well as the module uh, to everyone. Uh, I'll tweet it out or let me just quickly do it right away. I'll paste the links in the chat itself. So my next slide basically had this info. I'll copy this and let me paste it in the chat. So these are the slides and the code repository. I have hosted it on GitHub, so you can uh, clone it directly. Yes, I have covered all the bases, so. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, any more questions? Uh, we still have uh, like 13 or 12 more minutes to go. Please let me know. Or if you have, if you, if you did not, since we still have time, if you did not understood any slides or any code base, please let me know, we'll cover it again. Uh, I'll try to cover it within few minutes. Gives you oh yeah I, I see why it gives you four zero four uh, so uh, if you see the link uh, the word code C O D E is appended to the very first link let me paste it for you again I'll copy the slides link uh, let's see if this works let me try it. All right, it works right now. So any more questions or we are good to conclude? All right, uh, please don't leave right now. I have some more slides for you. Uh, the one was resources itself, we covered it. So mystery was like, all right. Uh, coming up next after this session, we have four awesome sessions or lined up for you. The very first one is best practices for building multilingual sites in Drupal 8. It will be presented by Mohit. 
followed by we have uh, classic website blunders by stephen uh, after that we have facets in drupal 8 supercharged filtering of listings uh, and the last one in the 10 a.m slot is new css tech tell your designers by mike so do attend all these sessions and yeah i'll be also in there see you um, yeah. uh, thank you everyone uh, for attending this and thank you to all the bad camp organizers it has been a very good experience speaking and attending this particular event so thank you very much